Good morning. It's Jim at Bullion RV in bright, beautiful, sunny Duluth, Minnesota. We're going to look this morning at a Winnebago 2108. It's a small travel trailer. And this is the one, this is the one. This is the one when folks come in and say, we retired, we're retiring, we want to take off, we want to see the national parks. It's just me and her. We want a solid camper that'll hold up, that'll work, that'll keep us warm, that'll keep us dry, that'll keep us cool, that'll keep us comfortable, that can withstand some conditions. It's not too heavy, not too big, not too small. You get the picture. This is it. Okay? The 22 Winnebago Micro Mini 2108 DS will do the traditional walk around here. Power tongue jack. LP tanks that we'd fill up for you, of course. It would come with a Group 27 interstate battery. There is a battery shutoff there. Pass through storage. A spot for additional solar power here. There is a solar panel on the roof already. Nice deep slide on this Micro Mini that houses the dinette, utility shower, plug-ins, hookups, shower dumps, excuse me, sewer dumps, hot water heater, all the regular stuff you'd expect to see. Check out these tires. Goodyear Wranglers. Very, very, very nice upgrade. Ladder, walkable roof, prep for a Voyager back backup camera. Over on the campsite, LED lights underneath the power awning. This is a dual axle trailer. Very, very sharp aluminum wheels. Again, Goodyear Wranglers. Ooh, these are nice tires. Spot for TV out here if you so desire. Stereo speakers on top. Big grab handle. Let's go in. This coach features a Murphy bed, which saves a lot of space. On either side of this bed, hanging storage. Spot for a CPAP, a Mad Magazine, a historical novel. Has a dinette that converts to a bed. There's storage underneath each of the bunks, or excuse me, the benches. TV, radio. More storage here, nice feature. This one has a gas electric fridge, two-way fridge and freezer. You're gonna be out off the grid for longer, that's always nice. What is there room for in the freezer, kids? You got it, crappies and dilly bars. If you're going out west, kraut and dilly bars. This coach does not have a convention, conventional oven. It does have a convection oven as part of the microwave. Three burner cooktop. In place of that oven, copious storage. Not many people bake on the road, but you can bake in that convection oven. More storage here. The biggest sink in the world for a coach of this size we do give up a little bit of counter space because of the hugeness of that sink. Get a little bit back here. It's a nice little feature. And I have been dared by staff to run this Murphy bed with one hand. Buckle your seat belts. What you're about to see will either change your life or be somewhat entertaining. 
this goes down. A little latch. I think it's going very well so far. Not too bad. Queen size bed folds right back up into the couch. So very user friendly. Let's take a look around here as we head up. Did I say TV? There's a TV. If you're doing it right, you won't be watching a lot of TV, but let's say it's raining, the World Series is on or something, of course you'd watch that. Pocket door into the rear bath. Shower, stool, stainless look vanity, sink rather, it's not a vanity at all, it's a sink, medicine chest, hanging storage here, big spot for towels and sheets, linen closet, that's what that's called. Lots of storage in the bathroom. So that's a nice feature. So, the Winnebago Micro Mini 2108 DS. This is the one. You've been working hard. I know you have. Have you made a little T-chart? Reasons to buy, reasons to not buy. Excuse me, I got lost there. The not side would be filled with things like, I'm nervous about buying a camper. And I don't really know if I deserve this. Well, you do deserve it. It's beautiful. You've been working hard. Give me a call, 651-274-5575. Sorry about the camera work, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks.